Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can find the large folders on your Windows PC. To achieve this, I'm going to be using a free utility from Microsoft called Disk Usage or DU. And this utility is part of the Microsoft Windows Sys Internals suite of free utilities. I'm going to also show you how to format the output of this utility in a readable list in Microsoft Excel or in LibreOffice Calc in a very quick and easy way. So let's start first by downloading this utility. So you need to go to a website on Microsoft called Windows Sys Internals. So this is a website here. I'm going to leave a link for this website in the description below. So this is the utility from Microsoft. I'm going to download it now. Click on download here. And this is zip file. So I'm going to download it under the downloads folder. So here it is. Let's go to the downloads folder. And let me unzip it. I'm going to unzip it under this folder here. So just click on extract. And here it is unzipped. So now you need to open a command prompt here under this folder. To do this, simply select here the folder path and type in cmd and hit enter. So this will open for you a command prompt directly in this folder. I'm going to show you now what is the syntax of the command. So I just I'm going to type in du and it's going to show you the options of this command. But don't worry, I'm going to show you what is the exact command on how to get the folder sizes and then how to put them in an Excel file very fast and very easy. So let me first clear the screen and let me make it a little bit bigger. So now we can see better. So here, let me give you an example. If you want to search for the folder sizes on your drive D. So this is a command that you need to put. DU for disk usage, minus C for comma separated values. So this way we can export them in Excel and it will be very easy. Minus L for level. And here you need to put a number. So this is a recursive option on how many folders you want to traverse. So here I'm going to put that I need to go down 100 folders. And then here you need to put the drive that you want to query. So D column backslash. And then here so that to direct the output into a file so that you can import it into Microsoft Excel and like sort the folder sizes and so on. Put greater than and let's put any file name. So I'm going to put D folder size dot CSV and hit enter. So now it went and it put all the information under a file called D folder size dot CSV. Let's see. So this is here the D folder size. So now I'm going to go to the folder where this file was created and just double click on the file and it will open in Microsoft Excel. And here this is the file. So let's double click on it. And here's the file opened in Microsoft Excel. And you see it will give you the path and it will give you other informations. So what is important for us is the path and the size on disk. So this is a directory size on disk. Let me make it larger. So here it will give you the size by bytes for each folder. So we're going to convert this into gigabytes. To convert it into gigabytes, let me put here a column header gigabytes. And then let's put this small formula here. So equals this cell and then divided by 1 billion. So nine zeros. And here we get the size in gigabytes. So the first thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to copy this formula towards the end of the file. So here I'm going to right click copy. And then here I'm going to press on my keyboard control shift and and this way it will select all the line until the end of the file and just hit enter. So here is everything in this converted to gigabytes so that for us to read it better, I'm going to format it a little bit differently. So I'm going to right click on the header H here and then I'm going to click on format cells and I'm going to choose number. And let's say we want three digits after the comma and then let's use the thousands separator and let's click on OK. And let's sort this file by this column. So click once again here and then click on data, sort Z to A. So from the biggest folder to the smallest folder. 
And here you see that you have, for instance, I have the folder D that is approximately one terabytes, and I'm gonna show you how to drill down. So these are the folder passes here. Instead of going and copying each one and then going into Explorer and see what is inside, I'm gonna show you how to convert this into a hyperlink. So let's open a new column here, right click on B and then choose insert. And here let's say path HTTP and let's put this function here. So equals hyperlink, open the parentheses and then select the cell and then close the parentheses and hit enter. So this way you converted the path into a hyperlink. Of course, here you need to copy it, control C, and then you need to paste it until the last row in this sheet. So let me make it a little bit bigger. So for instance, let me see what are in this 28 gigabytes folder. This is a folder on my PC. Instead of going and opening Explorer and then opening this folder, you just have to click here and the folder will open. So it opened in another window. Let me drag the window here. So here the folder opened. And here you can drill down and see what are the folders that are taking place. So that was it on how to use the free DU utility from Microsoft to find large folders on your Windows 11 or on your Windows 10 PC. If you want to see also how to find large files on your Windows PC, please take a look in the description at the video I made earlier on how to find large files on your Windows PC. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly, and this way you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.